Ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Sweeney and welcome to the second installment of a five-part series that we here at ModernWallStreet.com are calling The Big Fight Breakdown. Once again, for those of you living under a rock or those of you that are just too cool for mainstream sports, go back to your shuffleboard. This Saturday, May 2nd, 2015, the biggest boxing fight and the biggest sporting event in history taking place at the MGM Grand Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Six years in the making and soon the public will crown either Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao or Floyd Money Mayweather as the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter of this generation. Now, after reviewing the tale of the tape yesterday, it's time to talk big money for the big fight. And when I say big, I mean big. Mm -hmm. So big it's dizzying and record-breaking. Wow. And where else do we start but at the gate? Rivers of money are flowing right now into the MGM Grand Casino as Saturday night seats in the arena are not just hard to come by, but hard to afford. The working man's seat, the working man, in the MGM Grand will likely be filled with Hollywood movie stars whom the astronomical ticket prices are a small price to pay for the ringside exposure. The cheapest seats going up on sale originally $1,500 while the highest was priced at $7,500. But despite the MGM's 16,500 person capacity, only about 500 tickets were open for the public and not reserved. That's right, most seats already having been set aside for casinos, the camps, etc. And guess what guys, all of them gone in 60 seconds. What? One minute. So, before the two fighters step into the ring, Mayweather and Pacquiao will have generated approximately $74 million in gate revenue alone. And that already shatters the previous record of just over $20 million, 74 20 that was set back at Mayweather Canelo Alvarez in 2013. Yeah! But the real revenue stream, that's not at the gate. What? but the pay-per-view. Yeah. Now Showtime and HBO, they're collaborating on the production and the broadcast of the mega fight, and the price is about $100 to purchase the event. Mayweather's 2007 defeat of Oscar De La Hoya purchased by a record 2.44 million households, but expectations are that this one will easily surpass that mark. Some suggesting it could be bought and seen in 4 million homes, and even conservative estimates have this coming in over the 3 million mark blowing away the previous record, no troubles at all. Now let's use the 3 million household figure. That alone would bring in an estimated $270 million. And yes, I too will be contributing my hard earned dollars to view this fight because how can you miss it? Yeah. And then there's advertising. Just one example, one example. Mexican beer giants duking it out and Tecate winning the bidding war over Corona as to what beer brand will reign advertising supreme. Tecate paying $5.6 million, not pesos, dollars, for beer advertising rights. Then there's overseas broadcasting rights with at least $35 million from international broadcast sales expected. Then there's $13 million expected from closed circuit broadcast at bars around the nation and $12 million from sponsorships and merchandise sales. Well, yeah, you no, no comment. So when the revenue is combined, the two fighters could have around $400 million to divvy up for a fight that lasts no longer than one hour. What? 36 minutes in total. Wow. So, the question now is, who wins the battle of the money? Mm -hmm. Well, with Mayweather getting a 60-40 split of the purse and so much more, this round would also have to go to the perfectly nicknamed money man, Floyd Money Mayweather. Nice. Win, lose, or draw, Mr. Money gets his money and walks away an even richer man. And we, the viewers and fans, keep contributing, but good for him. He deserves it. He's a great businessman. He's undefeated, a good fighter. But Manny, Manny has heart, and he's going to be very rich as well. Just how rich? Well, only Manny knows, right? Exactly. Tomorrow, we take a look at five keys for Floyd Mayweather to win and keep his unblemished record. Well, just that, unblemished. And with that stated, until tomorrow, I'm James Pinoy Boy Sweeney with your Big Fight Breakdown.